Are you looking to lower your cost per click inside Google Ads, but aren't sure how to do that, but definitely do know that you wanna lower your average cost per click? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you four ways to bring that cost per click down so you can get more clicks, get more sales, get more leads, and most importantly, get more money in the bank. So that's what we're gonna be answering in today's video, four simple ways to bring down your cost per click overall inside Google Ads. Now, first off, I do wanna define what a cost per click is so we're all on the same page. And a cost per click is a cost assigned to every time someone actually clicks on one of your ads. This could be a display ad, this could be a search ad, YouTube video, whatever it is. It is a click and the cost per click is how much you're being charged every time someone clicks on your ad. So if someone clicks on your search ad, it may cost you $2, it may cost you $10. There's a lot of factors that go into determining your cost per click. Essentially how Google works is in an auction house. So everyone bids for first, second, third position. And depending on how much you're bidding, how good your quality score is, which is essentially how much Google likes your ad, you're going to place somewhere in there and Google's going to determine what your cost per click is going to be. Now, this is important to note because we want to bring our cost per click down as much. And now that we're on the same page, I can kind of go into how we're going to bring that down. Now, the first way we can go about lowering our cost per click is really just changing up our keywords. And a lot of people overlook this. A lot of people think, hey, there must be several thousand different things you can do to lower your cost per click. Absolutely. There's a lot of things you can do your lawyer cost per click. But sometimes a keyword just is not going to be successful. You can have a 10 out of 10 quality score, you can have an amazing conversion rate, everything could be good on the back end. However, the cost per click is just way too high. So things you could attempt to do is build out new ad groups. What I really like doing, especially in old accounts that are doing pretty well is still going in and adding new ad groups. And this allows Google to test new things, a keyword that may have popped up in your search term report, you can build out a new ad group around it, try new ads, try new keywords, maybe a broad phrase match, exact match, something new with it and test this new keyword out. Maybe it performs better than the old keyword. Maybe it doesn't, but we're actually trying to AB test this stuff and get better results in the long run. This is an amazing way to bring down cost per click long term and should be done, especially in the first few months, just trying to figure out what keywords to actually go after. Again, some keywords are just too expensive and no matter what you do, you're not going to be able to profitably bid on them just because the competition is too high. It's better to spend your money elsewhere, pause these keywords and move on. You could also try changing up the actual match type, maybe try broad match, maybe try phrase match, especially if you're on exact match, which is very limited. Try and give it a little bit more wiggle room, try and give it, you know, phrase match or broad match just so it's a little bit more lenient and it can find different search terms that may be a little bit cheaper that can help bring your cost per click down as well. Now, the second way of bringing your cost per click down inside Google ads that I would recommend is adjusting all the settings around keywords. So if you look at audiences, if you look at devices, if you look at days of the week, all these things you can go into and actually set bid adjustments on, especially if this is a smaller campaign, this is a great way to bring down cost per click. The main reason for this is if Google doesn't have enough data, it's not really going to adjust all of this stuff. If you go in there and do it manually, you can bring your cost per click down quite a bit. So maybe if you go into your location settings and you notice that one city is much more expensive on a cost per click basis than another city and the results just aren't that great, you can set a negative bid adjustment for that city and then that will signal to Google, hey, I don't want to bid on this as much uh, because it's too expensive. If the cost per click comes around and the keyword is affordable, I will bid on it. I like these results. However, the cost per click right now is just too high and I don't want to bid on it. That's a great way to help bring your cost per click down. Another way is going into the days of the week. I find this quite often with weekends where they're just more expensive, especially for service based businesses. Again, results may vary. I'm not sure what every single day of the week is in terms of cost for every single business. You have to look at the actual data for this but a lot of the times the weekends are more expensive and really the results aren't that great because people have a lot of time to look around. So what we like to do is set a negative bid adjustment for Saturday and Sunday if we do choose to run those days and just say to Google, hey, we know these leads, we know these cost per clicks are a little bit higher. We don't wanna spend this money. We're gonna set a negative bid adjustment. If we do get clicks on these days, great, but we're not gonna pay a lot for it. That's a great way, again, bringing your cost per click down and making sure your average cost per click is much lower. Now, another setting that is often often overlooked is audiences. And this is going to be grouped in with all the other settings here, but it's a little different. Uh, audiences really need to be dove into and looked at. I would not suggest changing audiences on the first month, I would wait for a decent amount of data to pile up at least, you know, two months in, 
and then look at adjusting some of these audience segments to say like, hey, Google, these are the people we want to target. I would adjust it very minimally. But if there are audiences that are converting, however, they're a bit more expensive, I would go in and put a negative bid adjustment just like we did on the days of the week or the location settings and just say to Google, hey, the cost per click is just too high for this. We want it lower. So we're going to go in, we're going to set a negative bid adjustment and tell Google this isn't for us. If we can get it lower, great. But other than that, we don't want it. Now, the third way we can decrease our cost per click, it's pretty simple, is use a search partners network. Now, I know I talk a lot of crap about the search partners network, and that's for a good reason, because the search partners network is generally not a great network to be on. That being said, if you are looking to lower your cost per click, uh, the search partners network is a great way to do that. You can get a lot of cheap clicks there. That being said, please be very careful. Check your results. Make sure the leads are still of high quality before converting everything over, especially if you have multiple campaigns. The Search Partners Network generally doesn't have the same quality of leads uh, just because it's not as monitored by Google's own organic search engine. So please be careful of that. But this is another great way to lower your cost per click. If one, you need more leads and two, you need a lower cost per click. This is a pretty good way of doing that is just to enable the Search Partners Network. All you have to do is just click on it and you're good to go and hit save. Uh, it's pretty simple and it is another viable way of getting a lower cost per click. The fourth and final way of decreasing your cost per click and reducing your overall cost inside Google Ads is to aim for a higher quality score. Now, a lot of people talk about quality score, but they don't really explain it all that well. Quality score essentially dives into three main factors. The first is expected click-through rate. So what is Google's AI thinking of when someone sees your ad, how likely are they to click your ad in Google's mind and Google's AI's mind uh, when they actually see your ad and it pops up in front of them, the higher the expected click through rate is the higher quality score will likely be. The second part of this is ad relevance. When someone actually does click on your ad, uh, is this ad going to be relevant to them? If you have an ad that says HVAC, but people are searching for plumbing repairs, those two things aren't relevant and that's going to hurt your quality score. So you want your ad to be super relevant to whatever keyword someone typed in. The final thing is landing page experience. And when someone actually sees your ad, they click on it, the ad is relevant to them and they go to your landing page. Is the landing page easy to use? Is it quick to load? Does it give them what they want? These are factors that will make or break your quality score. If you have a crappy landing page, you're going to have a low quality score. And unfortunately, a lot of people overlook landing pages. That's why I built an entire course on that. Uh, you can check it out if you want. But landing pages are super important. There's a lot of basic factors that you need to get right. It's not super complex to have a really amazing landing page. But these basic principles, having a fast page load speed, making sure it's easy to read, making sure there's good headlines in there that actually match your ads, all these things are really relevant to Google's AI when it actually scans your landing page and goes, okay, okay, this is relevant. People like your landing page. They are submitting their emails or they're calling you or whatever action you want them to take. They're actually doing this. This is all important and all goes into actually contributing to your quality score. Now, if you can really nail these three things, you're going to be able to bring your quality score much higher. And essentially what happens with quality score, I should have said this at the beginning, but I'm saying it now is way back when the general principle was if you had a five at a quality score, Google didn't give you a boost and it didn't dock you anything inside the auction house. However, Essentially, the same principles apply. Now, if you have below a five, Google's going to tax you on it. It's called the Google tax because Google doesn't really like your ads. So it might tax you 10, 20 percent. I'm not exactly sure. And Google doesn't release this data, but we do know it's not good. What we want to aim for is generally a seven or above, meaning Google's going to give us a discount. It really likes our ads. It likes how our keywords are. It likes the ad relevance. It likes the landing page experience. It loves everything about our ads. So if we can get a seven or above, generally we're going to get a discount and we're going to get a much lower cost per click. So having a high quality score is a very, very important to make sure your cost per click is as low as possible. Now, if you are interested in optimizing your campaign even further, we do have a free optimization checklist It's absolutely awesome. It covers absolutely everything you need to do on a weekly, monthly and a three month basis. It also allows you to put down your results. It's completely free. The link for that is down below. And I do suggest anyone using Google ads have some sort of checklist just to remind them that, hey, 
uh, this needs to be done. We do need to look at our landing page. We do need to look at our ads. We do need to be A-B testing this stuff just so you don't forget. Even if you're not going to use this one, use another one just so you don't forget and you make sure you are going in there on a regular basis to optimize this account so you can get a lower cost per click. Now, I do have one big favor to ask, and that is for you to leave a like at the end of this video. I put so much effort into these videos and I really do enjoy doing them. Uh, it is a absolute blast for me. I really do enjoy talking to you guys. It's just, it's amazing how you guys actually respond and it, it's just so much fun. Like I, I can't explain it, but thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you can leave a like at the end of this video, the channel growth has been absolutely amazing. It's, you guys are amazing, like absolutely astounding. I, it, it's unreal, but thank you so much in advance. If you do choose to like this video, I do really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Other than that, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to it. I was on vacation for the past like two weeks, so I responded to all the comments over the course of like a day. So if it took a little bit to get back to you, that's why I apologize, but those comments were answered, so you're good to go. Uh, other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care. I wish you all well.